Okay, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and address it because everybody been talking to me about it. Listen, everybody wanna know about the gumbo greens, right? This time I'm gonna go ahead and level it up and make it the way I do it. I did it, a few million people have, you know, did it. They come back, they tell me it's great, but I can make this more like gumbo. Now check this out. You guys look at these ingredients right here. Look, I've already did some of these, but I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it so you guys can come up with the same, right? You're gonna need yourself one of these big bowls. You can see the pot. This time I'm gonna be using turkey tails, right? I always do the andouille. I got some dry ingredients here, but check this out right here. I'm gonna put this out here right there in front of y'all, because this time we are gonna do it with a little bit of shrimp. Okay, folks, now check this out. This is what we're gonna do, right? These are turkey tails. I'm gonna go ahead and just add my stock in here right now. Now I'm gonna add my turkey tails, but I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the stove and get these going, Start, you know, so I can start my room. Okay, so look, now I just wanna show you how I do my greens, right? Listen, all greens got to be washed, right? I'm just gonna show you what I did right here for this here. I'll take a little bit. This is coarse ground, you know, kosher salt, right? I add about four pinches of salt in here. I put a couple of little teaspoons of uh, lemon juice. You know what I mean? I usually just squeeze a lemon and put that in there. And then when I take it, you know what I mean? I get it like this and I give it a scrub, right? I just run it back and forth. You gotta do it how you wanna do it, but you can see these greens right here are nice and healthy and no, no dirt, right? I've actually already cleaned these. This is on my third wash. I just left some in here just to show you guys. We gotta get them clean, folks. So look, I'm gonna stack these and get these going. This is what happens when you get a little overzealous, you know what I'm saying, with your cleaning process. You know what I mean? So you have to take it, you know, take it easy on them. Now look, I'm just gonna show you this. I'm gonna show you two ways. I'm gonna do it this way, you know what I mean? Cause I don't put the big stem in there, right? And this is done. Right, so I'm gonna just pull them out and do them like this. Right, now I'm gonna show you another way, and this is some of my subscribers that showed me. You really don't have to do that. If you just take it and break it here, like this, you wanna, of course, wanna try to leave that in there. And you could just take the stem out like that. All right, so after I stack them, you gotta stack them as many of these leaves as you want. Listen, we finna roll them, right? So now I just take them like this. I like to roll them nice and tight, right? I just roll them like this and I got it. I'm laughing because I can hear all of the comments. You know what I mean? Everybody talking right now. But we want to roll the leafy green the way I'm rolling it now. Right? So then you keep it, you know, closed as much as possible. And then we just cut it down. My flour and my oil. Put a little heat underneath this pan and it's root time. Now, those of you guys that know about making rules, you know what I mean? I don't like to leave this section right now. You know what I mean? Because listen, once I put this flour in here, I stay with it. I achieve the, cover, the color that I'm looking for, and then I start adding everything else, right? That's why I did all of my prep. Now, this is nice and warm, and I'm gonna just say it's hot. And then we just add this in there, right? And then you wanna be careful too. When you're cooking in these large pots like this, you get, you know, especially me using this, you know, square as wooden spoon. What it does is when I keep going like this, I do it all the time. I go back and forth and after a while you get sloppy, you, you splash up against the side and you know what happens, then it kicks up and this hot oil burns you. You know what I mean? So we just want to keep it just like this. All right, so I'm gonna have, ask you guys to come on in here and look down here on, on, you know, inside this pot, right? So when you're doing a roux, I gotta make sure I tell you, look, we're trying to achieve a color. You know what I mean? We want it to be, have that little bit of a nutty flavor to it. Okay, so I'm liking what I'm seeing right here. This is the color I like to get, because don't forget it's gonna continue to cook, right? So I don't need to go, you know, like chocolate, like dark chocolate. Just this right here is the way I want it to look. I just want to show you guys so you guys can see it. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is, I've turned down my heat a little bit, is I'm gonna add my onions, because if you've been following me, I love to give my onions a head start. Now, the reason I cut my onions down, because you remember when we have greens, we like to have the bigger pieces, right? And then when I cut them the way I did, and I, I hit them with the spatula like this, I mean, excuse me, my square edge, see how they just open up, and all of them, you know, got a nice size to it. Don't forget, folks, we making greens. This, it starts off like gumbo. Now, now after about a minute and a half, you know what we're doing. It's Holy Trinity time. Now we want to get some flavors, you know, to marinate inside of here. 
Now, normally I take my andouille, I put it in there and like to see some of my andouille sweat. I kind of like fry them. I found like that step really doesn't have that much to do with the flavor, so therefore I didn't do it. It makes good for a presentation, but when I put this in here, all of the andouille, cause look, check this out. Come in here and look at this real closely. You see all of that? Ooh, look at all of that flavor. That's gonna get hot, sweat, and drop its flavors in the inside. Now, I want you guys to pay attention. If you look back inside of here, remember I said it's gonna continue to darken? Look, it's just a process. That's why we didn't wanna go too dark. But this is still continuing to cook. You can see it's nice, it's still thick, all right? So I'm gonna take this, and I want you to look over here. Now, everything getting ready to go in here except the bay leaf, right? But I like to get all of my flavor in here. This is where we going, ooh, my goodness. Right, boom. And then if you come back over here and look, these are my garlics. I love to use my press, but I'm just gonna open them up like this. That's it. I see one just tried to escape, but I got him. Can you smell what I'm cooking? Now I put all of that in there for a reason. Now, my secret ingredient is bam. You see that right there? So now I'm gonna add some of this in here. I'm gonna back up from this, cause I, I can tell you this, what it's gonna do is make me sneeze. All right? We got to create some flavor, folks. And we building it layer on top of layer on top of layer. So look, one of the things about, oh, you know, working with these big pots, check out my head and look how I grab it in. Oh, there we go, folks. I know y'all are thinking like, damn, it can't get too much better than it is, right? But it can be. All right, so we about ready. This time I'm gonna work with the camera person. I'm gonna quit asking them to get in here and I'm gonna do it like this. You see that right there? If you ain't got nothing to look like that, then hey, you did it wrong. But don't trip, I got y'all. So now, it's time to bring in, oh, them turkey tails. They nice, soft, and we didn't let nothing escape. Now we just go ahead and add this. What is this, folks? For me, it's turkey tail. For y'all, it might be drumstick. You know what I mean? It might be a smoked turkey wing. I don't care what it is, just make sure it's smoked. And now we're gonna put all of that goodness. I don't know if you guys can see it. Look at the goodness that's floating on the top. That's from them turkey tails. Okay, folks, I don't know if the camera picks it up, but you can see it's a little thicker than water, right? By adding that broth, you know what I mean? Now I wanna bring this back up to a boil. Once it comes up to a boil, I'm gonna go ahead and add the, you know, my collars to it. You can hear it. Ah, oh, yes, it, this right here is working. Oh my goodness. Now, ta-da, now we just add. Now I got a big enough pot where I can get all of this in here without me having to like cook some down and then put some in there. For those of you guys who are using smaller pots, just fill it up as much as you can, put the lid on it, wait five minutes, and then do, you know, it'll be small. And don't forget, don't forget, this is nothing but water. Okay, break away, boom. It's been five minutes. All right, I like what I'm seeing. Now, the only ingredients we have left is just the bay leaves, right? So I'm gonna just go ahead and drop these in here and just get them on the top and we just work from there. All right, the bay leaf in. I like to push some of these leaves, you know, these collard greens down. I just put this back on the top. We're gonna let this simmer for about one hour, right? Now, you guys see I got cornbread right here. I made my cornbread yesterday. Tomorrow I'm getting ready to do my cornbread dressing. Listen, I done read all the comments. You know your boy got you covered for the, you know, holiday, right? So listen, I'll be dropping five videos a week, you know, starting today all the way up until Thanksgiving. So I'll see you guys in about one hour. Now check this out, folks. I told you one hour, that's under a medium flame, but it's really up to you how you guys like the, you know, the texture of your leafy collard green, right? So let's look at it. You see this right here? Ooh, my goodness. You see that? I don't know if you guys can tell. That's kind of like how I like it. You know what I mean? Now, we're not going to go too much more than that right now because this is where I'm going to lose some of y'all. But I got to say this. If you've been with me, you guys, I read the comments and everybody say they make it, they love it, they love what I'm doing. For you guys that like eat with your eyes, you, this is where I'm going to lose you. You remember that shrimp? Check this out. We only going to go in about 10 more minutes. 
It's up to you how much of this shrimp you put in there. But this is no different than doing like a chicken, you know, chicken, sausage and chicken, you know, gumbo, right? But you gotta put this in here. You guys gotta just trust me. I saved the best for last, you know what I mean? Uh, oh my goodness. And you put in as much as this as you would like. I'm gonna put it in like that. And remember, I didn't do no seasoning, so it's like naked flesh. It's super absorbent. And you see the color of this right here. Man, I really don't have nothing to say. I mean, you guys seen it. I'm prepared to hear all of the comments. You know, I'm gonna be reading them all. You know what I mean? But if you see that right there, look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, folks, so after looking at all of that, you know what, this is the ooey. You see it. I know some of y'all are just doing everything with your eyes. Listen, your boy AB has never ever steered you guys wrong. Hey, I'm not finna over talk it. It done cooled enough. I done made this a star with that camera. Cheese and cheers. I almost really don't want to wipe my mouth because I'm ready to get back in here and get me some. Check it out. Gumbo greens, the new way. Listen, this is what you're going to serve on Thanksgiving Day. Probably when you make these, you'll probably never make regular collard greens ever again. Now, don't forget, check my website out, Smoking and Grilling with AB. That's W-I-T-A-B dot com. You know, for the printable recipe. Uh, I'm kind of like rushing through this because you know what? I'm ready to eat, folks. Talk to me down in the comment section below. And guess what, folks? You finna look at this cutting board because your boy is out. Peace.